Hello and good Thursday evening, everybody. It is 2023. We're a little bit through January. We're about 12 days through, if you want to be specific about the count. But for us, it is the first show of, of the new year. And the only thing, the only resolution I had is to see more of one person. And that person, it's Doug, actually. How are you doing, Doug? Nice to see you. Glad to be seen. <laughs> nice to be here. I have a question. Do you like seeing the mic there, or is that a problem? It's not a problem. I don't, do I sound better than I normally do? You sound closer, which is nice. Come a little bit closer. Don't be shy. Just a little What's bit closer. Doing? Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Doug. of cherry Happy... pie. I'm oh, still sorry. singing. I cut you yeah. off with your no. singing. Oh, yeah. my God. For my, uncle used to, my uncle used to sing that song to me. Not really to me. That sounded weird, but it was an arid extra dry commercial, but he changed it to cherry pie. Oh, an yeah. arid cherry pie. Mm. That was Uncle Jimmy. Turn the mics up a little bit. Uncle Jimmy. Oh, I yeah. had an Uncle Jimmy. Mm hmm. Where'd he go? Away? Uh, to the other side, as they say. He's mm. dead. Ow. Yeah. Sorry, my neck's a little tender. Oh, I thought, I thought it hurt you about my Uncle Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> right in the cockles. Happy New Year, Rowie. How you doing, Rowie? Happy New Year, friend. Hope things are going well. Hey, Rowie. <laughs> hey, check it out. Rowie's so nice. You're making me nervous. I'm playing with my thing. It's all his compliments. Dun, oh, dun, 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 dun. Did you get the sound for that? No sound for that. Interesting. What do you mean? There's no sound anywhere? Um, let me refresh the old alert box. What are you working on there, Doug? Well, actually, I've been having fun. I've, I've been following this um, couple. They're called the Life Drawing Duo. And they, they model professionally kind of full-time um so the female of the group she um has started using telegram uh, as a platform to kind of connect with artists and then she is uh, uh posting content for artists to draw and i found her on like instagram i've been following them there and then um it's just kind of a an opportunity for some artists to find each other as well Pardon me, it's a bubbly water, sorry. Um, so we kind of just share our work there and then each week she's like um, sending out new new work as inspiration. So um, I don't know if you've noticed on my Instagram, there was kind of like this lady with like a holding a chain. Um, that was her first one and this is her second one. So I've just been kind of plugging away at it here and there and um, I wanted to get to it today before our work but however work's been you know works work takes up some time so i was like well this will work out just dandy i'll bring it on the show and have some dedicated time to to put some finishing touches on it so yeah it's um just been using some quality paper um started out with like some pencil markings to kind of get my landmarks in and i'm not going super like hyper realistic and detailed because She's sending out photos. Why you don't need that? Um, I, I like to be a little more whimsical, as you know, or anyone who watches the show regularly would know. Um, so I've just been playing with some acrylic wash, get some mid tones and some dark tones in, and then I want to go in with some pen and ink today and put in some more of my energetic lines and, and details. So yeah, that's what I'm working on for now. Thanks for asking. Cool. That's interesting. I didn't know Telegram was a, a platform like that. Well, yeah, I thought it was kind of more like a chatty thing, but I didn't, I hadn't used it much prior, but what this person has done is created like essentially group chats. Um, and you can just share stuff more easily, but like so far everyone's been like super respectful and it's been great. So, um, uh, I'm very positive with like, you know, 
uh, people's artwork and whatnot. So yeah, pretty cool. Oh, hi Shane. I just, I just, I just sent I just sent you a Telegram message, and I just got an <laughs> alert. It says hi. So yeah, I don't know if people are using it differently than that. I mean, to me, it seems like a WhatsApp kind of. It is, and I think it's a thing. response. So. There's a couple of them, right? Telegram, Telegram, Signal, and WhatsApp. And then when WhatsApp uh, changed their user agreement and uh, was going to start tracking users and user information, everybody fled and went either to Signal or Telegram. Oh, gotcha. So I shouldn't be using That's WhatsApp is what you're telling me. Um, a lot of people left WhatsApp. Gotcha. Uh, uh, what is it? The, the great. Because uh, Facebook bought it, right? Or Meta? Um, yeah, let's see. What When was this? January 2021. A poorly explained update. To its terms of services, push WhatsApp users to adopt alternative services such as Signal and Telegram in their millions. The exodus mm -hmm. was so large that WhatsApp had been forced to delay the implementation of the new terms, which was slated for the 8th of February, and ran, run a damage limitation campaign to explain to users the changes they were making. Hmm. Um, data track from the analytics from the app shows WhatsApp fa uh, falling from the 8th most downloaded app in the UK of this UK stuff but yeah basically they it was anonymous and uh, encrypted end to end and then they they changed their terms and we're gonna start tracking something and people are like nope gotcha see you later people like their privacy yeah absolutely well that's a part of um there was a, we were using Signal for a while, like uh, our group of friends was using Signal for a while. Okay. And then there was a reason we left Signal too, and I can't remember what it is. Maybe it was trash. Like maybe it didn't have the features, but Telegram seems to have everything that we wanted. Because since we switched to Telegram, we've been using it. So. Oh, cool. So there you go. Um, there, you, there you go. Little tech. Uh, little tech talk. Ooh, tech talk. Tech talk. TikTok. <laughs> Speaking of TikTok. Yeah. Are you on the TikTok, Doug? Mm -mm. I mean, I'm aware of it. I know what it is. I used to use it when it was called Musical.ly um, before it rebranded. Musical.ly? Yeah. That's what it was before it was when TikTok. When it was just for, um, just for lip syncing. That's what, how it kind of was started, but I actually started doing some um, Doug Actually promo stuff there, but I would dare say we were ahead of our time because at that time, I think it was mostly like kids using it uh, for the lip syncing. What I was thinking is potentially the parents would see the art and be like, oh, that's different. What's that about connect and buy all my art? Um didn't happen but that was the that was the thought way back when that was a long answer to be like no i don't use it anymore sorry well the thing is is like you uh, you've been there done that you've been there and done all those things you don't need to do it anymore so there we go well it might be a good place to be now i'm just not i'm just not so certain anymore you know yeah absolutely Hey, Angry Panda, how you doing? Oh, hey, hey. No, ads. Ads on the Android TV. What? Let's see ad. We, we don't control the ads. Oh. Oh, excuse me. What's what going that? on with you? That was, that, you know what that was? That was... Uh, Your tea? No, that was uh, the, the Mexican soup that I downed. Mexican black bean soup that I downed right before the show. Ooh. Did you make that from yeah. scratch? I did not. No, I made it from a can. Happens. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to say, but they, you can't. You can't cook every day. Well, you can, and I cooked for lunch. I made uh, pork uh, gyros with a oh. potato and uh, 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Some marinated pork, and the the pork marinade had um, za'atar, which is oh like, yeah, you know, sesame and sumac, and uh, garlic, and olive oil, and you red okay? wine vinegar, and a little bit of water. Hello. Can you not Hello? hear me anymore? Check your headphones. Check hmm. your headphones. Seems like I can't hear you. What's wrong with your fucking headphones? Mm -hmm. Some device may have grabbed my... Uh... Oh, they seem to be connected. Can you hear me now? I can, yeah. I think another device walked by and grabbed my headphones. Oh. It's like, hey, how you doing now? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Mm, Can't hear a thing. Good. Come on. Come on now. Um, so it's the, it's the new year. I know that, you know, it's been a while since, uh, because last week, uh, would have been the first show of the new year, but we uh, postponed that because Canada was in the gold medal game of the World Junior Hockey Championships, which is a big thing in Canada. People in Canada like that, uh, myself and Doug included. Great game. Yeah. And, and Canada won, which makes it even better. Yep. Although they nearly blew it in the third. Yeah. It uh, it got dicey. Up two nothing in the third. They gave up two goals late. Went to overtime. Canada won it in overtime. Yeah. It was pretty some pretty great. great. Uh, some great video. So it was held here in Halifax, and there's some great video of the square uh, downtown where everybody was that couldn't get in to see the game was uh, outside. Uh, when the goal scored, very very exciting. But it did postpone our um, New Year's show. So uh, I'm going to ask you, Doug, do you have any New Year's resolutions? No, I don't. Um, no. I'm not, I don't really buy into it. Um, you don't take the New Year as time to reflect? No, I, I don't. I think it's it'd be nice. It'd be great. But... Uh, I just think that uh, overall, just try to be a little better. More of a new year, new year theme rather than a resolution. Paul, whatever, whatever you like, Doug. That's right. That's all it is, right? Yeah. It's however you want to frame it. How about you? Are you a big? Uh, resolution theme person no but i did take the time to uh reflect this year and i've made some changes i bought myself a fitbit oh yeah and, uh, trying to correct my sleep and uh become a little bit more active i need to be less you know because i'm a lot right now and you just need to be a little bit less gotcha so, yeah yeah um, and where I'm kind of science driven, I find that if I'm tracking something, I'll pay attention to it. So the Fitbit will help me track things and uh, keep my attention on it and keep me focused because I can lose focus or get dis dis uh, just kind of get disgruntled. Like talk about how if you're on a diet or you're uh, trying to work towards a goal and you falter once. The, the that's fine. The key is to get back back on it and yeah so i was very uh very all or nothing for a long time when it came to stuff like this so having this and being able to track it and being able to see that okay like one one day where i eat pizza and ice cream isn't going to kill me no it's about having less days of that than others than more yeah and it's it's actually necessary for me to have those days because i do love food so much i can't just cut out the good stuff I just have to be a little bit more aware of the portions that I'm making for myself. And... Mm -hmm. yeah. As we all should. Mix, mix in some other things. Yeah, yeah. Also found out I'm a big fan of cottage cheese. Oh, yeah. 
What do you uh, what do you like in your cottage cheese? Oh, so I cut up, dice up really, really small red onions, cucumber, peppers, both sweet and hot, um, celery, and little bits of carrot. And I have these diced really fine in the fridge. And then when I have a bowl of cottage cheese, I just take a handful of that, plop it in there, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, bingo, bango, delicious. There you go. Nice. No, you don't, you're not a, oh, you, you're, you have a new job. Rowie, do you have any uh, New Year's resolutions, Rowie? Angry Panda, nice to see you. Any uh, New Year's resolutions? You think cottage cheese is gross, Rowie? You don't like it, but it likes you. <laughs> you know how I know that? It's because everybody likes Rowie. That's fair. And that's true. Uh, very oh. high in protein as well. Like, that's a pretty high-protein snack, mm -hmm. uh, which is pr pretty decent. I also found out I like uh, Greek gyros, which I made for lunch today. Yeah, you were saying. Talked about that earlier. I'm not excited for you uh, and all Rose, your... Rowie's with Doug. Doesn't do no New Year's resolution. Yeah. If he wants to do it, he does it. That's true, and if I don't, I really don't. Ooh, I can hear the plane going by your house. It was either a plane or a bus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but the plane both. of the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got it. The old road plane. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, one other resolution that I have for this for this uh, new year is to uh, find out more animal facts. Oh yeah, have you uh, discovered anything you'd like to share? Uh, yeah, geckos have sticky feet. Did you know that? Um, no, not really. Yeah. Cool. Is that how they stay in one place? So they can climb up the, the thing, you know? Did you know that chimps love to party? That's a good animal fact. Um, no. Like, how how does one party as a chimp? Oh, dancing and uh, eating, you know, that sort of thing. Hey, little Ange, how you doing? Hey, little Ange. Uh, Angry Panda is also not a resolutions person. I end up reflecting a few times a year. And kind of adjust as you go. You know, I let it pile up. <laughs> till it's till I till I break or New Year's comes around. Oh, okay. Yeah. This year, broke New Year's. Times. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just just a a lump, a lump in the shower with the shower turned on cold. Yeah. And that works for you. you? Well, when you cry in the shower, no one can. No one can see. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. <laughs> rocking back and forth in my cut off jeans Ooh. <laughs> they must be hard to take off after a shower that's why you leave them on forever oh <laughs> you've had more than one of these showers I'm getting the feeling it, it, okay back in the uh, was it like the eight, late 80s maybe even early 90s when girls used to wet their jeans so that they could get them on super 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 tight do you remember that no uh didn't know that was a thing <laughs> that's definitely a thing oh okay uh, let me look it up oh uh, if you're gonna get some interesting stuff <laughs> and i i said i would never do this on my uh you're gonna get 90 year old women with wet jeans Yeah. Get a spray bottle and fill it with lukewarm water. Spritz it on the sections where you want the fabric to have some give, like the thigh, calf, knee, or waistband areas. If you don't have a spray bottle, try damping it under a fossil, faucet or with paper towels. Mm. That's, how, that's how you can... Uh, can showering in your too tight jeans make them fit perfect? No. The answer is no. <laughs> 
Absolutely not. No life hack. They cannot. Oh, what's this never nude? Oh, um, yeah, Arrested Development. <laughs> that's where I got that imagery in my head. That's where, that's where it all came from. What a great show. I should rewatch that this year. That should be my New Year's resolution. Yeah. Through all this getting, getting and being better. Yeah, in the bath. There's a girl get, gets in the bath. Puts her two tight jeans on. Hmm. It's working oh, for it's a sustainability hack. It's not though. It's, it's wearing your clothes in the shower. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> There's a TV series called Jeans Get Wet, uh, 2011. Hmm. What about you, little Ange? Any uh, New Year's resolutions? How much do you know about the Spice Girls stuff? Um, I was living actually in the UK when they um, hit the charts over there. So a little bit. Uh, friends of mine used to sleep with Scary Spice. Um, posh Spice wasn't always posh. Well, who's your favorite Spice Girl? Uh, Sporty Spice. Yeah. It's her birthday today. Mel C. Nice. Yeah, Mel C's birthday today. Ooh. How, 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 old, <laughs> how old is Mel C? 49. You bang on. One for one in 2023. She's 49 nice. years old today. Nice. Born in 1974. Crazy. Which makes her just about 17 years older than Duck. Just about. Just about. <laughs> <laughs> Closer to 17 years older than 50 years older. Yeah. Correct. Oh, little Ange, are you going to go visit Bia? Oh, just uh, continue your increased exercise schedule from the last year and learning German. And boy, howdy, are you. 4,000 experience points just the other day on the Duolingo. And I know this because I am Duolingo friends with Little Nick. Nice. Because I'm I'd also say, learning the German. I'd say you're more than just Duolingo. You guys seem to hang out a lot. Wearing cozies friends. and such. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks for clarifying. I wasn't no, insinuating no, I anything. Said, I, I, no, I said it's because we're friends. And we're, okay. Um, Udis, by the way. Udis. Oh yeah. Oh, speaking of which, did uh, Nacho ever arrive at Little Angel's house? No, I still have it here at my house. <laughs> so now you know it's who to. Uh, I, I, you know who to blame, Little Ange. I promise it has, not it has left the studio a while ago. <laughs> Yeah, I got the brat around Christmas. And uh, <laughs> the uh, I will be your Duolingo friend. What are you learning on Duolingo, Angry Panda? Yeah, I keep forgetting to bring it when I go over there. Uh, here's another birthday for you, Doug. And mm -hmm. this one's gonna, this one's not as fun. It's not as fun as Mel C. Oh, okay. It's Jeff Bezos' birthday today. Okay. Um, How old is that billionaire? Probably not as old as I think. I'm going to say 50... 56. He's 59. I really thought oh. you were going to say 59 and be two for two. But you're one for two. You're 50%. You're batting 500. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Um, yeah, I didn't. I mean, that's that's where I thought he was, but I was like, ah, he's got. He might have just like went bald early. 
Yeah, it's. It, I mean, I think he's looked this gross for a while. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to tell. Fair. He's also learning German. Oh, good. Jeff Bezos. Everybody's gonna speak German. No, Angry Panda, Little Ange, myself. Oh, nice. You guys off to take a trip? Oh yeah, go to Germany. Or somewhere's. Just take a trip. Go to Stuyak. <laughs> Just go to Stuyak and speak German. Yeah. <laughs> like we're German tour tourists in Stuyak. I think that would be amazing. They'll be like, oh, they just got off the plane. How welcome. Maybe like Donka Shane. Must be a rental with those Nova Scotia plates on it. <laughs> Absolutely. What else would you have? I don't know. German plates. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you're a tourist. Uh, I should have picked this one instead. This is way better than Jeff Bezos. Oliver okay. Platt. Woo! Yeah. Canadian actor, born in Windsor. Is he? I didn't know he was Canadian. Yeah. yeah. Huh. 63. That's a hard one, too. Oh, you got it! Nice. Yeah! You got it. You're two for three. That's pretty good, Doug. On nice. a roll. Wow. 63. Oliver Platt, Canadian-born actor. He's known for starring roles in many such films as Flatliners, Beethoven, Indecent Proposal, Three Musketeers, Executive Decision, Lake Placid, Chicago mm. Med. Meth. Uh, yeah. Chicago Meth. <laughs> Chicago Meth. Man, he's been in so much stuff, this guy, eh? Yeah. Windsor, Nova Scotia, or Windsor, Ontario? Windsor, Ontario. Oh, I would guess the Ontario Bulls, but I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if he was from Windsor here, it would be on the sign. Yeah, right next to the birthplace of hockey. That's right. Birthplace of hockey and Oliver Platt. Yeah, it is now. I'm going to tell people that. I was born in Windsor. I feel like, oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, his mom. Yeah, I used to go to church with her. Oh, yes. Mrs. Platt. <laughs> <laughs> she used to have a feather in her hair. Pheasant. <laughs> Mrs. Platt with the feather in her hat. Yeah. That's her. Everybody knew Dolores. Oh, Dolores Platt. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Sheila. Sheila Platt? Uh, Sheila Maynard. Oh, yeah. Who's that? It's Nicholas Platt, his wife, and Oliver Platt's mama. Mm. Wonderful. Uh, there's lots about her family on here. Oh, are they troubled? Mm, no, just the, for some reason the whole... Family tree is on the internet. Oh. Uh, what are you watching these days? Uh, so, I started watching Kaleidoscope. Did you see that? Yes, I finished it. I was going to ask you about so, it. So, it's an interesting concept, and I, and I like yes. this uh, idea of, like, trying to mix up. So, when they did Bandersnatch and all the rest of that stuff, like, it's interesting that they're trying new things because of the way that you can deliver it in the house. The thing with this one, if, for those that don't know, it's a heist series. There's, what, eight episodes? And they can be played in any order. Right. And it doesn't seem to... I don't think it would change the story much, but maybe. No, I don't think it does. I don't think it does change the story. They've written it in such a way that each one is is, like... Because each one is sort of its own, like, pocket in time. That's true. Yeah, that's right. But I I was watching it and I was thinking, oh, I would have liked to have seen this episode before the episode I saw two episodes ago. So I think there would be, like, an optimal order. Do you remember what order you watched it in? I started jumping around a bit. I started with episode two. Well, two. Well, in the order that... No, they're... they're the, colors i know but i don't remember the color names um sorry but they um, also don't have a fixed order on netflix they give you a random order 
Oh, that so I order didn't that know. The you watched it in is won't, won't be the same as mine. I've been, I watched, I got served yellow, green, violet. That's where I am right now. Oh, so I got pink, red, violet, then went back and watched white, and then... Which you're supposed to watch last. That's the only thing they want you to do is watch that last. Oh, didn't know that. Um, but wish I had... Because when I did watch it, I was like, eh. I'm glad I saw... Th I wouldn't want to have... A well, what my thought was, I wouldn't have wanted to have started with that one. Yeah, of course not. Because that's the, that's the actual deed. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm liking uh, it so far. I'm, so yeah. far, I'm, uh, I am liking it. Oh, good. Did you yeah, I, no? I did. No, I did like it. Um... I think it was casted well. I keep thinking it's Huey from The Boys. So do I. Um, is the only one that I feel is a little miscast. Um, yeah. I would like that the girl who's Huey's ex um, to be more memorable. Like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And... I like the actor who plays her husband, but his character is just so, I don't know, just, yeah. just, yeah, and that's just, yeah, just like, that's how you act when you're 18, not 48. Mm -hmm. So, and why, really and why, and why, and why would she like him? Like, I'm just like, what, what does she even see in this guy? It doesn't even make sense. Yeah. So there was one thing that the Huey character said at one point which was basically that he's like i'm not mad at him he's just he's just an idiot i'm mad at you because i don't understand or i'm disappointed with you because i don't understand how you can like him right and yeah so there's some like self self-loathing there uh for sure yeah um but i like the lawyer and i like the yeah. main guy a yeah. lot and i like their the way that she is is a very compelling character so far anyway but again i've only watched three episodes so yeah no i would say her character uh i really liked um i don't know what people know about everything so i don't know what to say but i i liked yeah, well... i liked another main character um who's someone's daughter but i don't know if i'm allowed to say that i think so yeah um so far so good I, i'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it yeah um i would say definitely finish it yeah i i will I, I don't think it's the kind of thing that i would watch in a different order again do you know what i mean right i i agree i'm not gonna watch another I'm not going to watch it again. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I just I don't like, like rewatching things over and over. Yeah. I, I can, I can rewatch things. I just don't think that this is going to be one of them. Yeah, that's fair. We're talking about a show called Kaleidoscope that's on the Netflix and it's a heist movie or a heist series, limited series that you can watch in any order, except you should watch white last. Mm hmm so uh no i'm gonna add some white to this now that you just said white so i'm not done okay cool um what are you watching are you watching anything uh, specific there doug uh his dark materials i'm kind of plugging away at that season three um sorry what his dark materials it's know. um where is it prime or yeah prime oh that's a mystery yeah it's good um it evolved a little bit 
um, this season. They revealed some more of like what the backgrounds and the motivation is, which um, they kind of left it a lot more open in the first two seasons. Uh, this one, it's very definitive of what's what. Um, and I think that's kind of lost me a little bit. I think I preferred knowing or not knowing. But yeah, I also understand why right. they did it. Yeah, I like the mystery, but then again, if everything you're doing doesn't have a concrete rationale, I think the masses of people might not buy in. But people watch oh, Lost forever, and that was about nothing. Yeah, that's true. So you, you think they were losing people, and they're like, okay, let's rein this in a little bit? Maybe. Yeah, it's possible. Um, that... I still haven't gone back to that one we always talk about that we never watch. Periscope or I don't know. White Lotus? No, the uh, peripheral. That's the one. Yeah. I don't think I'll finish it. Yeah, it's super unfortunate. I liked the first four episodes and then it just didn't go anywhere. Yeah. Oh, that's going to get screechy. Squeak, 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 squeak. Are they in the jungle? Who? The person that you're drawing? Um, I don't think so. I would wonder that they're actually, but great call, um, at a hotel. Do you want to see the photo? Yes. That's the photo. Oh, yeah. And it then does that jungly. Oh man, yeah. it looks exactly the same, dude. Oh thanks. So yeah, I don't know where it was shot or anything, but I think it's cool. Cool, cool photo. I yeah. like the contrast. A lot of contrast there. A lot of a lot of a lot of his dark materials in there. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, so you you try to go back for a full didn't work, right? So uh, no. what else do you got? You watch anything else? Not really, no. I'm trying to think. Um, I'm still rewatching Veronica Mars. Oh yeah, you mentioned that. And it's almost over now, and the last season's not that great, so it's kind of like ah, could take it or leave it. But I haven't found anything to really replace it. Uh, mostly because I don't have access to Crave, and I w I think the show that I'm going to start next is is White Lotus. Yeah, it won a bunch of awards, I think. Uh, I like a lot of the actors in it, and so uh, and there's what two seasons already done. Yep. So th that's a good amount of watching material. I really think that I should get rid of one of them and get Crave. Yeah. Sort of switch it up for the new year. Mm hmm. That sounds like a resolution. Just full of them. Full of them. Full of it. Well, that's fine. Could be full of something. It, Doug. Full of it. Mm hmm. Do you have any art resolution? Oh, no, you have no resolutions. No. No, I got asked to go back to Art Battle. To Art Battle. It's their 10 and year. Defend your championship. I haven't, I haven't been a champion for a while. Um, it's their 10 year reunion or anniversary or whatnot. Um, uh, this is a champion of champions. Is that what you're going to do? <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I don't think I'm. I'm not gonna go. No. How come? I'm not feeling it. Um, yeah, I'm just. Uh, I want to be motivated in a way. I think it's very nice they asked. Um, 
but I'm, I'm I I don't want to force it and be there and then be like oh, I don't want to be doing this and now I'm doing it and I'm on stage. I'd rather be like I'm gonna go in there and fucking slay this. Yeah, and I'm not there. That. No, no. Well, that's fair. Yeah, but I I. It is agreed, I mean, which is why I'm not doing it. But I kind of, I wish there was something about me that did feel that way. Do you think it would be a, a Boy Scout sort of thing where uh, you just need a parent to tell you that it'll be fun once you get there? No, because I think it would be fun. Like I would have fun. I just want to win. So if I don't win, it won't be fun. Because then I have to be like, oh, it was great to see everybody or whatever. So are you not going because you might lose? Uh, Maybe. But I don't know what I want to paint. Like, I just think, um, I think that's why I stopped doing it years ago is because I was like, what I want to paint doesn't work in that format because you have a time limit. So if anyone doesn't know, you have 20 minutes to paint. They give you... A very limited color palette which is fine the issue is the way i like to work and the tools i like to use they're they're school grade level paint so they're really shitty and like to blend them to get like um good colors and whatnot um is really really challenging so you kind of just have really like primary colors um to kind of slap together and then when they do cross over and bleed the pickle becomes you get a lot of brown um because they're quite loose they're not like a thick heavy body paint by any stretch which you know if you're using palette knives and stuff it's a bit nicer um so yeah it's a bit of a psychology goes into it too for sure because you kind of kind of read the crowd to think like what are they into and um i think part of it is winners chosen by by crowd uh, response right yeah exactly so the crowd walks around while initially like six or eight painters are painting and they vote on who they want to advance um so what was a recipe for me of what was successful was like painting and painting and painting but kind of pulling it all together in the last five minutes of the 20 um but I'm just finding that worked early on. And then I lost interest in the painting, that kind of stuff. Cause it was like pretty basic stuff that you would get done, which is totally fine. You only have 20 minutes, but um, I found like the stuff I was interested in doing and challenging myself to do within that 20 minutes um, didn't win the votes but my paintings would sell for the most at the end of the night because there right. are probably more going on within them than, than some of the others. Um, so I, I yeah, say, though you were a multi provincial champion. So let's not claim that you did not win any I think you did uh, true not get the most votes because you did get the most votes a lot. Yeah. I went to nationals three times. Um, but I, I, I never placed at nationals, not even once. Um, so yeah, it was, it was fun and I really, really enjoyed it. And I would encourage anyone to do that type of thing. I think it's awesome. I just don't know that I'm, uh, feeling that for me at this time. That's all. Yeah. You, you had your reign and that, that's good. You don't want to let somebody else win. You know? <laughs> well, yeah, I agree. <laughs> Have a turn. Yeah, you have a turn. You have a yeah. go. <laughs> uh, what's what's the deadline? So, like, are you still thinking about it, or you've made your you've made your choice? They asked last Friday, and I haven't got back to them. And I think it, the event is next Friday, but it's not that I just. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm sure they've moved on. Um, one other thing that you used to do that I don't know how much you do it anymore is the live, right? Uh, yeah, that was kind of what stemmed that. So that kicked that off for me, actually, um, being like, oh, I can do that. So, yeah, but I haven't done that for quite some time now with, you know, everything going on the past couple of years. Right, where people don't get together. 
Right. <laughs> It's like it's, uh, it's Doug's live painting in the uh, in the lobby of the bank, and there's nobody there. It's like why in the lobby of the bank? Because the bank's closed. Because there's nobody there. <laughs> the bank is closed. <laughs> uh, Rowie says I kind of want Sweet Tooth season two to come out, and I agree wholeheartedly, Rowie. I I thought season one was amazing. Yeah, I liked it too. I really liked that show. I'd I'd love to see that. All right, this feels better that I put the white lines in. I think it looks great. Thanks. Well, thanks everyone for showing up today. Um... <laughs> We're about halfway done, Doug. Oh, are we? <laughs> All right. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Just a kidding. I want you to say hi to Shane on Telegram. Uh, little Angel loves Sweet Tooth. Someone once asked uh, Angry Panda, don't you feel bad for winning all the different events for those that don't get anything? You should... And he replied, they should swim faster. So for those that don't know, Angry Panda was a almost Olympic level swimmer. Oh! Didn't know that. Destroying the competition. It's fair. Now, would you go back and swim? No, he just he just drowns now. He just he goes out there, flops around. When everybody has to save him. And they're like, "Come on, man, just kick your legs. You're really good at this." At one point, it's like, "No, I refuse." Oh, did you see what Rowie did? Oh, redeemed play GeoGuessr. We can definitely play GeoGuessr in a little bit. Do you want to play that now, Doug, or in uh, a little bit? What are you thinking? How are you feeling? Yeah, let's go for it. Let's do it now. I'm right. gonna get some papers ready and stuff. So yeah. Well, All right. right. Let me uh, let me load it up here. You know what I should do is uh, add a shortcut so I don't have to do this. It's okay. You do what you gotta do. You get it off the chat here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold that on. being said, while Shane's doing stuff up, what uh, what? Would people like me to create it after GeoGuessr? Yeah, let's think about if we can give Doug some content. Some content. You know, with these sources, I wish there was a way to like highlight one because I use one every time and I have to go looking for it every damn time. Right over Doug's face here. Perfect. Maybe I'll move it to the art side. No, oh, no, it's whatever. All right, there we go. There Play as much Doug. as you want. Okay. Where is it, everybody? Oh, that's it? Yeah, this is it. Oof. Oh, school bus. Yeah. Used its signal, so it can't be in the Maritimes. No. A motorcycle's coming at you. Looks lush. Uh, I'm gonna say double, Me Mexico. Double yellow lines. I'm gonna say Mexico. Mexico. Double yellow lines. Well, let's have a look at this fella. He's pants. He shirtless. Might right. You might be right, Doug. Yellow pants. <laughs> that's that's what's doing it for you. The yellow pants. <laughs> so I'm looking at the I'm looking at the double yellow lines on the road. I'm looking at the trees. It looks tropical. Right. Yeah. Could be Cuba. Turn, turn around. Do they have double yellow lines? What the heck? Oh, you made a circle. I didn't though. <laughs> yeah, it's a seam right there. I know. Oh, okay. There's no behind the view. There's only a forward view here. Hmm. Whoa. Mind melting. <laughs> Get me on that bus. Um. 
Okay, so... I don't know. Uh, Doug says Mexico. Any other guesses, chat? Chile. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, right side drive. I mean, I think it's... I think it's... Uh, maybe... Texas or uh, over here somewhere. Maybe even in like the bottom of New Mexico. Mm -hmm. But where in Mexico, Doug? We're going with Doug's instinct on this. Uh, I'm going to go Guerrero. Guerrero. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Keep on, keep on going. Yep. Anywhere there. In here? Yeah. Anywhere in here? Yeah. That looks a little too dense. These, uh, yeah. Backwoods roads here? Like this That's one? the one. Yeah. Oh! Is that close or not? I don't know. Zoom out. No. Where's the map? Oh. Nicaragua. El Salvador. Oh, yes. Good, 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 good guess though. Mm. Pretty decent guess. All right, here we go. Number two. This looks like uh, Nigeria. Ish. I actually don't know. That was I... a, just a guess. Maybe South America. It could be. Arizona. I've seen parts of Arizona that don't look much different than that. Uh, uh, Little Ant says Africa somewhere. <laughs> Roby says Nova Scotia. <laughs> uh, Little Ant says Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm willing to see that as like. Look at those trees. My first instinct was Africa somewhere too, but. Uh, yeah. Oh, I feel like we've been here before on GeoGuessr. Oh, Philippines? There's a dog on a roof, a pit bull. What are you doing up there, bud? He's protecting his head. <laughs> Is he stuffed? Is a stuffed dog? I don't know. Oh, he's just hanging out up there. <laughs> so, these electricity boxes, does this look familiar to anybody? I don't think any of us work for Nova Scotia Power. Kind of driving on the left, no. I mean, I think this is either... What did you say, Doug? You said you had a. I said maybe central the Philippines, America. but oh, Philippines. but it feels more South or Central America. I would agree. Well, we're, we're allowed to go pretty far on this. Usually, you're not allowed to go this far. I guess we're just like, well, there's nothing. <laughs> Fair. Oh, a car up here. So it looks like they drive, well, it's hard to say, but it looks like they drive on the right. Another puppers, couple puppers. Is that a Honda oh, Fit? Hi, puppers. Oh, I'm petting them. Hi, puppers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty decent looking automobile. All right. My guess is um, Central or South America somewhere. Probably more South. Yeah. Um, but I'm also okay to guess in Africa. It's Oxley. That's what Rowie's saying. So Angry Panda says, I don't think Africa. Okay. So no Zimbabwe. So let's do South America somewhere. Maybe it is Australia. Doesn't feel like Australia to me. Okay. Does it feel like Australia to you, Rowie? I think like... Um... You said Philippines, eh? Oh. 
Well, just because you said it looks like someplace we've been before. It does, kind of, doesn't it? Hmm. You're, you're being a goose? How about, um... How about New yeah. Santa Rosa? I think that sounds wonderful. Mexico. Oh! <gasps> Oh, you it was in... I thought. <laughs> oh, I've uh, I've been very close to that area. Santa Cruz. Wow. Is that in Mexico or is that across the border? No, it's still in Mexico. All right, didn't do so well there. So no. It shouldn't let me choose. Okay, this is very familiar, right? This is in the. Uh... In the Europe's somewhere. Bienvenados a Niagara. Yeah, I don't know. Niagara. Niagara. No, that doesn't seem right. When, Buenvenidos, Spain? Might be Portugal. Spain or Portugal? Or it might be Brazil. They have these signs, so I'm thinking about these 60 signs, you know? Hmm. Feels British. Yeah, it does. So a British colony of some sort. But they're on the right side of the road. Mm-hmm. Uh, wh what do they drive in Spain? Well, these whatever, trees. whatever they like. Be northern <laughs> Spain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, try to find whatever side you want. <laughs> it's, it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. No issues. Okay, what does this say? It says, uh. No double no passing. Pass. Even though there's a passing lane right there. Okay. P. Las Casas. Puello. Hmm. It's 296. So do we think this is Europe because of the sign, or do we think this is... I, I think it is because of the sign, but I can be completely wrong there. What do the roads look like? So we're looking for, like, P96, P5... A42. This seems like the right sort of idea. Mm hmm What are they in M Portugal? Are they called P's in Portugal? C-M-E-A. Also A's. P Las Casas. You know, it could be like the French BVIs or something. No, the trees look too northern, though. I, I'm thinking... I'm thinking around here somewhere, Spain, Portugal. Okay. That was my kind of gut. The fact that the highways are like these you know, letters, dash, numbers, the fact that it's right drive, mm -hmm. the fact that it's, uh, you know, some some Spanish derivative type language. Do it. Okay. I'm working on it. You really want to find that? Exact, I was just like uh, wondering if uh, P. Las Casas would jump out at me. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, there it is. That'd be awesome. Let's just get. Ooh. Oh, it's nowhere near it. No. Argentina. Argentina. Chile. Oh, no. Chile. Sorry. You're right. Damn. 
spoiled. See, this is why I can't. I'm not allowed to, to choose. That's two yeah. times I've cho chosen and been completely wrong. All right, four or five. We're almost done here. This is nice, nice blue skies. Guys, this looks like Australia to me. What is he up to? Australian. He's shooting the, shooting the shooter. <laughs> Zimbabwe, Zanzibar. <laughs> this is government of Zanzibar. Let's go with Zanzibar. <laughs> is it? Oh, it's in Zanzibar. Okay. Where, is, where is Zanzibar exactly on the map? I believe <laughs> it's on the east of um, Africa. North? No, where, south. Where am I south. Be more lush south. In here somewhere. Near him. Watch chat. And just taking it. It's a small island. Oh, it's a small island. Near. Probably between Madagascar and the. Somewhere. Maybe, yeah. So there are nice little islands east of uh, Madagascar, too. What's it called? Zanzibar? Zanzibar. There you go. Boom. Zanzibar. Well, we don't have a lot of roads to choose from. Nope. Probably uh, this guy right here. Yep. Boop. Not far. Ah, not far. Well, 31 okay, kilometers. Great. Like... Way to pick it out, Doug. See, this is why you're the master of this. Last round. Europe. Halifax, Nova Scotia. Old Hospital, Peugeot. Fall. Yeah. Where there's fall. I might say. Oh, Peugeot. Yeah, yeah. Poland. Yeah, I was going to say, like, uh, Eastern Ukraine, European, Poland, somewhere in, in there. Um, Latvia. Mm. Austria. Beautiful. Beautiful place. It looks very much like here, like this does, you know? Yeah. Denmark. Oh, that might be a good guess. Yeah. All right, Doug, you call it. What are we, where, where are we guessing? Take me to Europe and let's uh, scoot around there a little bit. Okay. As you wish. Yeah. So Denmark, Poland, Lithuania, Belarus. Like, I think it's at, might be Czech. Somewhere in here? I'm feeling that, yeah. Okay, let's pick a city. Like a small town or something. I guess they're all. Yeah, somewhere in here. Stockholm. Oh, Sweden. Hmm. All right, view summary. How'd we do? Not good. <laughs> There's a couple in the middle there that really kind of took us off the. Off yeah. The line. I, I apologize. These these were my guesses. These big long. <laughs> these big long ones were my guesses. <laughs> All right, GeoGuessr. Good game of GeoGuessr. Thanks, Roy. Thanks, Roy. That was fun. Oh my goodness. Oh. I do not know my geometry. Or my geography. Good catch. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know geometry better than I know geography, and apparently, better than I know words. Mm. I know what I might do. Bump, bump. Oh, does anybody have any ideas for Doug, or are you you good, Doug? I think I'm I'm good. Thank you, though. Okay, he's good. Mm. 
Just you. talk amongst yourselves. So I bought a new kettle so that I could turn it on from anywhere in the house. Oh, with like a phone? Yeah, so it's a, a Bluetooth kettle. Nice. Yeah, it's super disappointing. Oh. <clears throat> it always doesn't connect. Like always. Like, well, that was... The... Oh, no, I just got it to connect, so that's good. I mean, <laughs> now at least I can turn it on from down here. What I really wanted was one that I could tell uh, Google Assistant to turn on for me, and uh, those kettles are extremely expensive. Oh, really? And have horrible reviews, so... This is Dark Materials is, uh, looks interesting because that Ruth Wilson and uh, the cast is interesting. Ruth, is she the one with the weird mouth? Yes, weird mouth. Weird mouth lady, that's exactly her. So weird. Like, I have a hard time looking at her. Yeah, it's like her upper lip does the ski jump thing. Yeah, and then her teeth, like, are extra British. Her teeth are extra <laughs> Yeah, it's like her overbite or underbite's really like crazy exaggerated. Oh, she doesn't seem to have overly British teeth. No, oh, not her teeth. Her like um her bite. Oh, her bite. Yeah. Sorry. She was in that um So did you watch The Wire? The guy that played what's his who's his face there? No, but sorry, I am going to tell you what I did watch that I really enjoyed was the uh, Welcome to Chippendales. Uh, was it a documentary? No. It's, uh, well, kind of. I mean, it, it's based on how that business came to be, but it was actually really entertaining. It kind of reminded me of Glow, um, like that kind of funny, or what was the one with the lady who had the first male porn magazine was that blush or hush or um i don't think i saw that one. Oh, it's really good too um so yeah that kind of like shit that happened in the 70s how people struggled to become like super famous but didn't really seem to struggle at all they were just doing something no one else was doing so um lifestyles of the rich and famous and then all the shit that goes down with it uh where was this show this welcome to chippendales disney of all places yeah okay cool kumail uh and uh juliette lewis and uh juliette lewis was so good in it i like her i don't know that i do but i liked her in this what is it about her you like not saying there's anything you shouldn't like. I don't mean that, but. Um, so when she was way younger, those earlier movies. Like National Lampoons? Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, that. And uh, what was the one with Woody Harrelson? Oh. Um, Natural Born Killers. Killers, yeah. Um, and then what else has she been in? Um, Brad Kate Pitt's Fear, pants. She was great in that. What's eating yeah. Gilbert Grape? She was great in. Like she's done a lot of great things. So why is she not around much? I wonder. She just, you know, had that period where actors get old and people stop caring. Yeah, I wonder. I mean, I also wonder if she did a couple bad movies and then that kind of like took her out of the running for stuff because there's some, <coughs> there's some stinkers in here too you know well i had heard recently that maybe margot kidder is going to be forced to take a margot kidder <laughs> margot uh oh what the hell's her name Robbie. yep Robbie. uh yeah. might have to take a bit of a break because all her movies lately have sucked and uh that she may have well, acted who, as a... who in her camp told her that doing Barbie was a good idea? Well, that might that's her only saving grace. It was Amsterdam and the one with Brad Pitt that's killing oh. her, I guess. That Barbie movie can't be good. Um, it'll be surprising if it is, right? Yeah. 
Who's Ken? Or is there a Ken? Ryan Gosling? Oh. Okay. Somehow I must have known that. Well, you know what? It probably isn't going to be that bad. I, I don't see how it could be good. Well, I guess when I say it might not be bad, it might be because they're going to take a different approach than what we're expecting. Uh, I, I definitely hope so. But here's the, here's the byline. After being expelled from Barbie Land for being a less than perfect looking doll, Barbie sets off for the human world to find true happiness. Oh. Okay, well, you might be onto something. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think that if you're going to go see that movie, you should get really high before you go. I thought I turned my buzzer off, but apparently I'm still buzzing. Sorry, everyone. There is somebody in that movie that I do like, though, is that Emma Mackey, the one from Sex Education? Oh, yeah, yeah. Dave from Sex yeah. Education? She's great. Good old Maeve. Good old Maeve. She has not been in a lot of things. She was in something not too long ago, though, and I can't remember what it was. But, uh... oh, did you watch that new Knives Out movie? Yes. Did you like that? Uh, yeah, it was good. It was entertaining. Yeah, I would give it that. I don't think it was the masterpiece that some people are making it out to be, but I also didn't think the first one was the masterpiece that people were making it out to be. I would agree. I didn't quite get... You know, their shows. Fill my time. Yeah, the first one was good, too. Like, I like those kind of, like, suspense mysteries, like, that are more on the mystery side than they are on the suspense side. Yeah. Uh, so I, li I like the first one, and I liked this one for that reason. But I don't, like, people are going a little bit overboard. Um, I watched Bullet Train. Oh, uh, how was that? What you would expect. A little longer than it needed to be. Um... But longer than twenty minutes. So. Yeah, it was. It was a like almost. Yeah, it was a lot longer than twenty minutes. It might have been almost two hours. Wow. Yeah. And, and it's all on a, a single train. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, is it actually, a bullet train, or is it is? Yeah. No, it, it it's meant to be. But, um, yeah, it was, uh, took me a few times to finish it and I didn't mind. Like I'd, uh, watch a bit and then come back to it and over a series of days, I got through it. I wonder if that might be the way to watch something like that. Cause I just like any of these, uh, oh, it's a, like a bottle movie, right? Where they're in a bottle. Yeah. So what was it like uh phone booth and uh speed and you know those kinds of movies i i just like i sigh really hard when i hear it i'm like oh right <laughs> yeah. here we go now a bottle movie that was really good die hard Yes, true, yeah. It was all in Nakatomi Plaza, but it was amazing. So maybe I shouldn't scoff too hard. Maybe it can be done. Yeah, you just gotta have the right people. You gotta have the right tower. Yeah, that's right. Your tower doesn't sound good enough. Man, that's, that's sad what happened to Bruce Willis, you know? What happened now? Well, he's got aphasia or whatever. Oh. Where he can't the the condition. I don't know if that's the word. For it. The condition is that he loses the ability to understand and create speech. Oh wow! No, so I didn't hear anything about that. People were giving him a bunch of crap for his last ten movies being complete and utter garbage, 
and his acting being really bad but he had this disease and was basically trying to make enough money to like retire forever mm -hmm. wow uh, and it's sad yeah because he was a good actor how old would he be old brucey yeah I'm gonna say 68. Ooh, so close. 67. If his birthday was today, he'd be 68. That's right. Let me find out what this condition is so that I don't uh, speak ignorantly. Mm hmm. Yeah, aphasia. I was right. It's aphasia. Uh, which impacts your cognitive abilities, usually focused around language. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah. Yeah. So I had tape on this earlier, but um, it's so you could... Uh... So it'll look like it has a frame. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Whoa. Uh, were you a Bruce Willis fan back in the day? No. No, I uh, never really was. I didn't get too excited about Bruce. You? Sounds like you are. Uh, I like Die Hard, and I like some of the other action movies. Like, I really liked... Um, um, Fifth Element. I thought that was a really good movie. Yeah, that's where I started to like him, to be fair. Um... But it wasn't just him. I was, thought that was a cool movie. Yeah, there's lots going on there. Mm -hmm. His uh, thing is very unfortunate, though, for some of the, that acts, you know? Oh my gosh, yeah. this owl how it's coming together oh okay deep reds and purples that's what we're doing not sh not sure how i'm feeling about it quite yet but you know whatever we'll get there What kind of owl is that, Doug? I don't know. Let me explore. Nope. Don't know. Sorry. Cool. Well, I have no facts about that kind of owl then. No, probably not. But if you did, they, I'm sure they'd be amazing. Sorry, I'm talking away from the mic. You probably can't hear me. No, that's fine. Totally fine. I was going to ask you something about um, hockey, and now I can't remember. It's okay. Uh, Leafs are playing Detroit tonight, by the way. Oh, fun. Who do you think will win? Uh, so the Leafs have won the last nine that they've faced Detroit. Leafs yeah. Won. Detroit's not very good this uh, year. Well, and I watched the last game, the last Leafs-Detroit game, and it was a great game. Um, 
this there's still some pieces missing to the oh yeah to try yeah. to re rebuild but i mean you guys are in your first year of a rebuild so well it's a few more than that but um it's kind of you to say Uh, you're winning one nothing right now, though. Oh, who scored? Oh, Papa Roy is a feel. Well, I hope Papa Roy feels better soon. Oh yeah. Uh, Larkin. Oh yeah, I like him. Yeah, he's great. Ah, Raymond. Larkin got an assist. I like Raymond as well. There's some great players on that team. You need a goalie. Yeah, thought we got one. Who so? But. Guess no so. Yeah. Uh, so I turned my kettle on. Apparently, there's no water in it. So that's oh, a, so I got mad. A, a big problem. Uh, but I do have a bubbly here. I have a strawberry bubbly. I'm gonna go go for. Nice. I um had to put a new microwave up. The other one died. Do you use your microwave a lot? No, it kind of just stores bread. Oh, it's a bread store. It's a bread yeah. box. Essentially, yeah. How about you? Um, there's certain things that I use it for. So cooking broccoli. Oh, yeah. It does that well. Um, and microwave popcorn. That's about all it does. It's good purposes. Some people like uh, to cook eggs in it. I don't think that that's a good idea. No, I've never enjoyed that experience myself. Homemade egg, egg McMuffins. That's what people use it for. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? I guess when I was a youth, I may have experienced that a little bit. In your ute. My ute. Yeah. In your ute. So, uh, Roey, tell us about the new job. What's the new job? What do you got? What do you got going on there? New cafe. New coffee for everybody. So, with this, uh, you started it all dark, and then you're putting white on top of everything. I'm just, yeah, working some. Uh areas to I guess just marking it out backwards yeah we're dark the light it looks like the white makes it look like feathers a lot more right well it was thank you that's what I was hoping for That was the goal. Uh, do you know what year this is? Like today, right now? 2023. What's the, it's the year of what? My heart will go on. <laughs> no. No. Uh, oh. I mean, good, good, good go, but no. Oh, all right. Enlighten me. Um, do you know your uh, zodiac sign? I am a rabbit or a ram, depending on what calendar you're going by. Right, and I, uh, it is it is our year. Oh, okay. So it's Rammy. It's the year of, of of the rabbit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you not a, a rabbit? You are a rabbit. I am. I'm a yep. rabbit. Yeah. I am a rabbit. Yeah, 2023 is uh, our year, year of the rabbit. What's going to happen for us? Uh, that's a good question. Male rabbits are characterized by always treating people politely with a gentle smile that makes people feel like they are, are credible and sincere. Wow. When encountering tough di difficulties, they are never discouraged, but instead remain persistent in their endeavors to find solutions. 
This means they eventually achieve enviable success. Uh, we do? Yeah. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Some other uh, famous rabbits, Albert Einstein. Oh, yeah. Michael Jordan. Oh. David Beckham. Lionel Messi. A lot of, a lot of athletes. Yeah. I am not one of those. Your unlucky numbers this year, one, seven, and eight. Get out. Yeah, your lucky numbers, three, four, and six. Okay. The lucky days, 26, 27, the 29th. Of every lunar month. What the heck is a lunar month? Don't know. Wouldn't every month have a moon? <laughs> well, it's just like the moon doesn't go away. <laughs> no. Oh, lunar months. Oh, all the months. <laughs> <laughs> so we weren't wrong. We weren't wrong. Yeah, they just they just turn over different. Yeah. Uh, so what did it say? Twenty six, twenty seventh. 26, 27, the 29th of every lunar month is a lucky day. Oh, you want your lucky colors? Yeah. Red, pink, purple, and Got blue. It. Red, pink, purple, and blue. Okay. Lucky flower is the plantain lily and the jasmine. Oh, you like jasmine. You're lucky your lucky directions? Do you want to know what directions are the luckiest for you? I'm going to say mm, Northwest. Northwest is one of your lucky directions. Okay. Also East. Oh, okay. And also South. Yep. Those are your lucky directions. So you're right. East, South, and Northwest are your lucky directions. First, fourth, eighth, and eleventh Chinese lunar months are your most lucky. So you'll have okay. very lucky days on the 26th of this month, 27th of this month, 29th of this month, and then April 26th, April 27th, April 29th. Cool. Busy, busy, busy. Don't go northwest or southwest, though. Very unlucky. <laughs> oh, I thought northwest was one of my things. No, no. <clears throat> Don't go north. West and so. Oh. You can go northwest. Yeah. But you can't go north or west only. Gotcha. You gotta go in the middle of those. It's called a Zafaras, so a sister store to Starbucks. My friend's girlfriend is the manager and she said she needs a new supervisor. There you go, Rowie. Great. I'm sure you'll kill it. You'll be the best manager she's never had. Until now. Till now. Uh, somebody give me their Chinese sign and I'll tell you what your lucky bits are. Oh, bits. Uh, it's better for you to avoid big changes like getting married or starting a new company. Be circumspect with problem solving and communication and wear red underwear and socks to reduce bad luck. Me? Yeah. Okay. Ah, rabbits, in your birth year, you are believed to offend Tai Xiao, the god of age in Chinese mythology. So you're We're defending him? Many challenges with frequent life changes you're advised to be more careful about all aspects of your lives in 2023 i thought we were supposed to be lucky yeah i guess not Rowie is a rat your lucky colors Rowie, are blue gold and green that's pretty good red gold and green red gold and green what's that what is that from Come on, 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 That's right. Yeah. Red, golden, and green. Blue, gold, and green. Shama, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, di, ba, di, ba, di, ro, di. Squa, di, ro, di. Squa, ba, di, ba, ro, ke, sho, ra, ra, ra. That's a great song. A lot of squat. A lot of squat going on. I like it. 
I scrub it in but like like you just escape all day. Shiver all gay way. Shiver like a note to say to do glee. Wow, you're good. Yeah. Amazing. Um so Rowie, dis display or wear lucky ox trinkets. What makes one lucky versus unlucky? Uh, apparently ox trinkets. But is there any unlucky ox trinkets? Um, yes. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you are like, well, yes. Um, of I don't, course. I, I don't know what they are, but I will uh, discover those. I'm going to let this guy dry for a bit. Uh, do you know what kind of rabbit you are? Uh, what are my options? Yeah, good, good question. Earth, water, wood, or fire? I would guess I'm a water rabbit. Uh, let's see. Or, no, I might be a fire rabbit. <laughs> or a gold rabbit. I might so be a gold rabbit. Wood, hmm, how do you find out? Five element theory. Water rabbit comes in once every six year cycle. This means there are five types of rabbits. Hmm. Hold on. I'll find out what type of rabbit you are. Perfect. Uh, there's not giving me too much in the... Wood rabbit. We are both wood rabbits. Hmm. So it's based more on when you were born as opposed to what your personality type is or something. Yeah. Well, both. Your characteristics as a wood rabbit are clever, quick-witted, selfish, mm -hmm. lively in appearance, but shrewd at heart. So this all resonates. That was the paint. We know by now. We know by now. If you don't know me by now, you will never, 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 never know me. No, you won't. I thought I could just dial in the old, uh, Thing and tell everybody what their lucky things are, but it's only colors that they're giving you. Hmm. Oh, general hor horoscope. Rats horoscope lucky colors for 2023. Due to being in opposition of uh, Tao Tzu, rats will encounter more in the way of thorny problems this year. So, rat people, you need to be more careful and watchful in 2023, much like we do as rabbits. And don't be impulsive. In general, rats, your career luck looks pretty good, but you'll still come up against some obstacles like ostracization by colleagues or rumors slander behind your back. Wow. Very specific. Yeah. Rats' romantic fortunes will be on a downward trend, and single oh. rats are likely to stay single. Married rats should be frank and talk more to maintain stable relations. Sounds like everybody's relations are struggling. All right. Rats, you should pay particular attention to any health problems this year and get a checkup. Oh. That was very informative. Make sure that you maintain good work life with enough rest in your spare time. Please rest. Mm. Who else? Anybody else? Anybody else got a uh, zodiac sign and they want to get their uh, 2023 uh, thing on here? Yeah, I think this is magical. People should. The luckiest uh, signs for this uh, 2023 are oxes, tigers, and snakes. Oh. Not so much luck. Dogs, horses, goats, and pigs. Yeah. Rabbits, rats, fortunes will be in influenced by opposition to Yaosu. Roosters and monkeys will have to work especially hard to make headway. So it sounds like not a lucky year uh, for us. Yeah. I don't like that. 
no. You're predicted many challenges with frequent life ch challenges. Changes. Oh. <laughs> really ramping you up, eh? Oh no, it's got me worried now. <clears throat> You're doing uh, fantasy AFL for the first time. That'd be fun. What do you guys? Uh... What kind of draft are you doing? Now this this is interesting because I bet if I go to a different site, it'll say that we have. A I'm gonna say no. I think you should go to another site, and I think it's gonna say it's gonna get worse than that one. The year of Water Rabbit is very positive, full of opportunities and good luck. It's the perfect time to focus on building strong relationships and finding inner peace. But we're a wood rabbit. We are a wood rabbit. Uh, what does it mean? Where does it, where does it say what it means for me as a rabbit? Rabbit horoscope, 2023. Is 23, 23 good for rabbits? The year 2023 will attract an abundance of money, prosperity, luck, and wealth for those born in the year of the rabbit. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it better. That in, gen in generally, not in general, but in generally, the outlook is positive. There are some tense configurations. You have a chance to evolve in all spheres of life. Hmm. All spheres, Doug. All spheres. Like tennis May balls. Will be the engine of teamwork. The engine. Nice. That's right. So this one says we're going to do well. I like this one better. Let's stick with that one. That'll be our go-to going forward. Oh, there it is. Oh. Wood rabbit. One will encounter lots of failure before seeing success. There will be evil characters around. You must work hard to solve all the problems that you encounter. Couples will have lots of quarrels. You must have them settled as soon as possible. Think twice before proceeding. Never do things in a shortcut. Okay. That's all good advice. I guess. Sounds sad. You want your uh, colors? I'll give you your colors, Ant, and then... Uh, yeah. Then I think we're good. You are this guy's good. not going to... He's not going to draw in time for me to get everything done to him. I want to do <laughs> your lucky color uh, as a snake is yellow hmm. how to be luckier where display lucky monkey related trinkets how are we supposed to be luckier sorry um, we are supposed to wear red underwear and socks oh right and carry or wear lucky dog trinkets I'm all for that I'm going to carry a lucky dog trinket this year and wear red underwear and socks. Cool. Entering 2023, snakes lives will go more smoothly. Career development prospects will be pretty good. Snakes, you should receive recognition from your leaders. After a series of tests, you'll be create ground for promotion or a salary increase. Love relationships will develop steadily. Single snakes will be able to attract the attentions of fine romantic partners. Speaking of snakes, you will have many disputes this year if oh. you're married. Oh. When you see signs of a fight spouting, you should immediately put out the fire of ire to resolve conflict with considerate dialogue. I like it. Small Thanks, Blight. Oh. Hmm? I was just going to say that. thank you to Blighted Angel. Hey, Blighted Angel. How you doing? Yeah. Thanks. Nine to full streams. How you doing? We're talking um, Chinese Zodiac here. Yeah. And how not to be unfortunate. How not to be unfortunate. For a <laughs> snake, it's wear or display lucky monkey trinkets. Mm -hmm. For a rooster, wear or display lucky dragon trinkets. For a goat. And, 
It's funny, like, we don't get trinkets. We just get underwear. We have trinkets. Dog trinkets. Oh, dog trinkets. I misunderstood, sorry. Wear red underwear and socks. We, we need double because it's our year. We need a lot to get better. I need to go shopping. And carry or wear lucky dog trinkets. I wonder if my uh, pocket full of dog treats is enough. I would dare, dare say so. <laughs> I would dare say so, too. I mean, all the dogs would be like, hey, buddy. I was out the, uh, uh, so my neighbors have dogs, and I carry the dog treats because uh, when I have Lily, I, I, I need them because I'm always training her on something. Mm -hmm. But it, it goes well because people are like, the dogs are like, what do you, what's you, what do you got in there? In that pocket of yours? It's like, oh, yeah, dog treats. Mm -hmm. you, you keep an eye on the feng shui of the house yeah, yeah. why not I know what your uh, your zodiac sign is give you a quick rundown before we leave yeah a boar Ah, wear or display lucky fish-related trinkets. Your lucky colors this year are black and yellow. Prepare for a more stable year of luck in 2023. Career, good cooperation with colleagues and leaders. Chance for promotion or raise. For business pigs, the year... <laughs> <laughs> for a new corporation. Partnering our new opening in your market. <laughs> In love pigs, your charm will increase. So for single pigs, there will be more favorable opportunities with the op opposites. Uh, uh, opening the way out of singlehood, married pigs, your special relations will be very harmonious. Go pigs! Oh, health outlet? Not so great. No matter oh. how busy your work is, you must find a balance. At least finding time to eat and rest well. How's our health? Black. Not good, right? Is there nothing good for us, is there? Um, let's see. Our health, your career will be okay if you work hard. And a promotion is very likely. Oh. Believe that a rainbow will come after the wind and rain. So we're, we're going to have a, a, some hard times and then uh, some, some good times. It doesn't say anything about health. It says uh, you're just advised to be more careful about all aspects of your life. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, not a good year to have a baby, apparently. Which is typical of most years. I was going to say. <laughs> is there ever a good year? Is there ever a good time? <laughs> no. You do get paid this year. Absolutely, Blighted Angel. It's all, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. All right, well... I think, uh, can you show the two pieces that you worked on tonight? Guys? Sure, I'm going to slide this guy back. And then earlier tonight, I was working on a piece I've been working on for a few days. Lovely. And then... A hooter, but uh, I want to do more to the to this guy. I just um, he's too gloppy right now for me to put in any details uh, using uh, charcoal and Conte. So um, I'll do it later. Next week. I'll do it next week. Why not? Why rush? I should just rest, yes. take care of myself, make some money, right. get a raise, come <laughs> back and deal with this guy when I'm good and ready. Put on some red underwear, red socks, put a dog trinket in your pocket, and we'll pick it up next week. I know what I'm wearing every Thursday now. <laughs> just red <laughs> underwear. Yeah. When it comes to the show, just red underwear, nothing else. This is socks, wear, right? socks, yeah. socks. Oh, socks, yeah. right, red yeah. socks, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thanks so much for joining us this week, everybody. Happy New Year to everyone. Let's get into 2023. I think it's going to be a good year. Yeah, well, regardless what Shane tells us. Thanks for hanging out. Exactly. <laughs> See you next week. Good night. Bye.